That's right, Brittany. Researchers tell us volunteers who are interested in this particular study are very hard to come by. That's because they believe they're taking a big risk. Hey. Some days are good for Ken Beth. How's your day going? And others are bad. Last year when I fell sick, I had pneumonia. I weighed at 145 pounds. I literally thought I was dead. Yeah. Ken was diagnosed with HIV in 2005. I was infected in sexual intercourse with a female. Scientists are testing the vaccine on people who don't even have HIV. People like Iris. My friends asked me if I had HIV. I said no, because I don't. So, but that doesn't mean that I can't help. She is one of many volunteers who are taking a chance to give others hope. I've seen the suffering that AIDS has caused, and I don't want anyone to go through that. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Infectious disease investigator Dr. Lawrence Wallman says there's always side effects in medical studies, but the risks can be worth it. Then you might get a little fever the first day, chills, headache. But those tend to be things that resolve within 24 hours. Researchers say nearly 3 million new HIV cases are diagnosed each year, but they're hoping to bring those numbers down with a new vaccine. The chances of getting HIV from an HIV vaccination is about as close to nil as you can get. But that's the number one concern for volunteers. A dead virus cannot cause disease. It was actually it was Ken Bethel is uh, thankful yeah, volunteers yeah. are stepping yeah, up, but he's hesitant to give full support to the study. So I have a little fear. So I appreciate their boldness by doing this act, um, and yet they're going to be helping a lot, a lot of people if the outcome is positive. So let's say you sign up for the year-long study. You will receive a booster shot of the vaccine every three months. Afterwards, the doctors will keep a very close eye, watch you for any reaction that's unusual for this particular drug. So Denise, how can people volunteer to take part in the study? It's very simple. You just contact the Southwest HIV Center right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And for more information, you can log on kpho.com. Reporting from Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Denise Sawyer, CBS 5 News.